हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मेरीन इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स आई एम अतुल कुमार गुप्ता एंड बैक विद ए न्यू लेक्चर प्रेजेंटली वी आर स्टडिंग मरीन बॉयलर्स टुडे वी हैव ट्वेंटी थर्ड लेक्चर एंड द टॉपिक इज टाइप्स ऑफ बर्नर्स बर्नर्स आर यूज फॉर एटोमाइजिंग द फ्यूल फॉर क्विक मिक्सिंग विद द सराउंडिंग गेयर and causing efficient combustion oil fired boilers on the motor vessels are used during port stay only and are required for small evaporation rate for which pressure jet burner is quite suitable on conventional oil tankers boilers are used for moderate evaporation rate for which rotary cup steam jet or ultrasonic burners are used on steam ships boilers are used continuously for large evaporation rate where dual fuel burners are used which are explained in the following slides this sketch shows a pressure jet burner which has simple construction and operation burner is mounted on the burner casing with the help of a burner carrier burner consists of a barrel which carries the fuel to the burner tip the barrel is secured to the burner carrier with burner securing handle oil is supplied to the burner at 6 to 7 bar using a gear or screw pump this burner has a drawback of low turn down ratio which is the ratio of maximum to minimum throughput due to which it is used on small capacity boilers or as pilot burner on all boilers the process of atomization is explained on the next slide this sketch describes the constructional details of burner tip and its atomization process burner consists of a barrel which supplies pressurized oil to the burner tip swirl plate is attached to the barrel which helps in providing swirl to the incoming oil rotation of the oil is responsible for efficient intermixing with the surrounding gear when oil is sprayed into the furnace the rotating oil is then passed through the orifice plate which converts the pressure energy of the oil into kinetic energy the cap nut holds orifice plate swirl plate and the burner together oil leaves the burner tip as hollow cone of rotating oil mist which is helpful in quickly forming a combustible mixture with the surrounding air the sketch describes the construction and operation of rotary cup burner this burner utilizes the kinetic energy 
imparted to the fuel by rotation to atomize it. Burner consists of a drive shaft on which a fan impeller is mounted. Fan provides the primary air in the furnace for maintaining a steady primary flame. On small installations such as incinerator, the fan can provide total combustion air. A highly polished divergent cup is installed at the end of the drive shaft which imparts kinetic energy to the oil due to spinning of the cup. Drive shaft is supported in the bearing housing. An electric motor Mounted on the burner body, drive the impeller fan and rotary cup through the drive shaft. Belt drive is used to step up the speed and drive the shaft around 6000 rpm for good atomization. Part of the air from the main duct is split and supplied to the fan as primary air. Butterfly valve is used to throttle the air while firing the boiler and during the low load operation and the primary air comes out around the divergent curve through the casing. Fuel is introduced on the inner running surface by the oil pipe which is spread out evenly by the centrifugal force. Due to conical shape of the cup, oil flows out to the outer edge spilling into the primary air stream, thus breaking the fine particles, breaking into fine particles. This burner does not require high pressure fuel oil. Three bar pressure is adequate to circulate heavy fuel oil to the system. This burner is suitable for automatic operation has wide turn down ratio of 10 to 1 and provides a cigar shaped flame. It can be used both on side and roof firing arrangements. The sketch describes the construction and operation of steam jet burner which is used on large capacity boilers. Air resistor is used for supplying the combustion air to the boiler furnace. With steam jet burners, air resistor does not require swirl vanes, but require venturi shaped throat and tip plate. Burner carrier is provided in the center of the air resistor, which carries a burner tube shown here. A long burner barrel passes through the burner tube which is secured to the burner carrier. Barrel is split in two annuluses for passage of steam and oil as shown in the sketch. We have steam in the inner and all in the outer annulus.
An atomizing nozzle is fitted at the end of the burner barrel whose details are shown in the next slide. A tip plate is mounted at the end of the burner tube whose purpose is to reduce the primary air stream so that a stable primary flame can be maintained. Oil is supplied to the outer channel of the barrel through quick shutoff and check valves. Atomizing steam is supplied to the inner channel of the barrel through quick shutoff and check valves. A steam purging valve is provided to drive out remaining oil in the barrel when burner is stopped. This prevents any tendency of freezing the remaining oil which becomes highly viscous after cooling down. Atomization of fuel is described in the following slide. The sketch describes the construction of burner tip and the process of fuel atomization. Barrel forms two annular spaces for the passage of steam through the inner annulus and oil through the outer annulus. Burner tip is attached to the barrel with gaskets shown here. Inner gasket prevents leakage of the oil into steam passing through the inner annulus that is this one and outer gasket prevents leakage of oil to the outside. Cap nut holds both the components and keeps the gaskets pressed, thereby preventing any leakage. Superheated steam at pressure of 5 bar coming from inner annulus is made to pass through convergent divergent nozzle where its velocity increases and it escapes into the furnace. So we can see the steam passing through these nozzles and going into the furnace. Oil at pressure from 3 to 20 bar coming from the outer annulus is made to pass into nozzle where steam has already acquired high velocity which breaks the fuel in tiny droplets, thereby atomizing it. Exit ports are arranged tangentially which give the necessary swirl to the oil droplets and forms the hollow rotating cone of fine particles. So the oil, it enters through this channel and goes into the nozzle where steam has already acquired and is discharged into the furnace where it is mixing with the surrounding air. This burner has high turn down ratio of 20 to 1 and is thus able to provide wide operating range at various loads. In comparison to pressure jet burner, its flame is not so well defined. This sketch describes the operation of ultrasonic burner developed by Kawasaki. Burner barrel forms two annular spaces for passage of oil and steam. The inner end of the outer annulus 
acts as nozzle. So this portion is acting as nozzle and through the inner tube the oil is supplied. Inner annulus is attached at the outer end of the barrel but is free to vibrate at the inner end. So here it is not attached and is free to move. A resonator tip is attached at the free end of inner annulus which vibrates at ultrasonic frequency due to action of steam. Steam passing through the outer annulus is expanded in the nozzle which acquires high velocity and impinges on the resonator resulting in its vibration at a frequency of 5 to 20 kilohertz. Fuel oil supplied through the inner annulus is spilled as fine spray into the furnace through oil spray holes shown here. This burner is able to provide wide turndown ratio of 15 is to 1. It requires less excess air. Lastly, we are looking at dual fuel burners. Dual fuel burners are presently being used on steamships carrying LNG cargo. Main purpose of this type of burner is to use boil of gas evolved from cargo which otherwise require reliquefaction plant. Natural gas being a clean fuel is replacing heavy fuel oil in modern boilers and diesel engines. The sketch shows side view of dual fuel burner. The gas burner consists of a double walled gas supply which is distributed to number of spurts similar in look like a LPG or PNG stove burner used in the kitchen. Steam dead burner is used for burning heavy fuel oil. Natural boil of gas coming from the cargo is very cold which is heated to a temperature between 15 to 45 degree Celsius before admitting in the burner through inner annulus at a pressure of about 0.65 bar. So this is the inner annulus. Ventilating air is passed through the outer annulus which heats up the boil of gas and also avoids any possibility of gas leakage in engine room. Fuel oil and atomizing steam is supplied to the oil burner as usual. When the burner is not firing, combustion air is shut off to the furnace with the help of pneumatically operated air sleeve operating cylinder. Burner front and inside arrangement is shown in the following slide. This sketch shows front view of the burner. from inside this sketch shows 
front view of the burner from inside and outside various components used are listed and described below cargo boil of gas enters the gas burner slightly above the oil burner through inner annulus which is surrounded by ventilating air flowing through the outer annulus in this surrounding the inner annulus heavy fuel oil is supplied to the steam jet burner at 17 cst around 130 degree celsius and pressure between 3 to 20 bar as per requirement superheated steam at pressure of 5 bar is supplied for atomizing the fuel oil burner is located in the center of air resistor with quick shot of walls of oil and steam and its tip can be seen on the inside view here seven number gas spurs are arranged radially around the swirler so we can see various gas spurs arranged radially and this is the swirler swirler provides the rotary, rotary motion to the incoming combustion air which helps in forming the combustible mixture with spread fuel quickly for lighting up the burner pilot burner or pressure jet type is used for which diesel oil is supplied by the ignition pump at 6 bar spark is provided by igniter through high voltage discharge also we can see from the inside view flame detector monitors monitors the flame and shuts down oil and gas burner if flame is extinguished pneumatically operated cylinders are used to shut off the combustion air after stopping the burner this completes our study of various types of burner used in boilers this book is written by me and covers all the topics as per indian maritime university syllabus it is also recommended by indian maritime university as a reference book it clarifies the concepts with simple illustrations this book also provides answers to all the questions which have appeared in the examination conducted by indian maritime university this book can help the students in preparing for the exam and also to work on the ship boiler safely hope you have liked the lecture you can write your feedback in the comment box if you have liked the tutorial you may share it with your friends you must subscribe to the channel for getting notification about the new tutorials i'll be back with a new lecture shortly thanks for watching till the end